guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a Sinful Colors video and it's been a while since we did one. So I'm always so excited for that. Today we're looking at the new for 2018 shades from Sinful Colors. So as you guys know, if you go to their website, sinfulcolors.com, you can click on collections and you can see all the collections that they are promoting right now. You can see like the artwork and the promotional material for each of them and you click on it and once you click on it, you can see what polishes are in each collection. So for this collection, it's gonna say something like New Shades 2018. There are 10 new shades in here. Four of them are Walgreens exclusives, and the other six you can find at places like Rite Aid, um, some people have said Walmart, some people have said Albertsons, I never find several colors there, um, and Fred Meyer. So, Basically, when I went to Rite Aid one day, I saw a display of five of them all together with like um, a clear top coat. So it looks like six polishes, but I think one was a clear top coat. So I had five from there, and then I found the four Walgreens exclusives um, from some major help on Snapchat. Thank you. Um, if you're looking for those, they were like at at the Simple Colors main display, like at their core line display, but on the bottom shelf. They don't look special or anything. They're just kind of like placed down there. Um, and then the one tricky one to find um, was found at Fred Meyer by my friend Stacy. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of them, but that's where I found them in case you're wondering and are trying to track them down. Basically, this is gonna surprise some of you, but those of you who really know me, this won't surprise you at all. I think Simple Colors is my favorite mainstream brand. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. And if it weren't for the fact that they make their polishes somewhat of a treasure hunt and make their coolest polish out of the whole collection the most difficult to find, that is very frustrating to me about Simple Colors. But other than that, they are my favorite mainstream brand because of price point. Now, as you all know, mainstream polishes can be have a really, really low price point because they make their polishes in batches of thousands at a time, thousands and thousands. So their price point can be really low, but I feel like, for me personally, now I know a lot of you have said that Simple Colors doesn't stay on your nails as well as other brands. You know, nail polish is personal, so you work with the brand that works well for you, but I don't wear a nail polish long enough to really ever notice chipping, and when something chips, I just choose a different color. So. Um, Wearability and formula, I think that they're all A+. I like them better than OPI, SE, and China Glaze. I think that Simple Colors as a rule comes out with great colors, great formulation. They have fun glitters, shimmers. They just have really fun polish. And I really, really like them and they're only $2. So this collection is no exception. I loved every single polish in here and I'm so excited to swatch them for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go in number order. So like I said, there are 10 polishes. We're gonna start with the polish number 2409. So we're gonna be doing two coats of everything today, although some of these you could totally get away with one coat. This first one is a very light powdery blue, kind of similar to Zoya Blue. And this one's called Acapella Ella 2409. Just really, really easy to swatch. Gets really beautiful pigmentation and coverage in one to two coats. It's a basic, simple cream but it's a really lovely, easy to wear, soft pastel shade, and it has a great formula. So we did two coats of 2409 Acapella Ella. in the collection is a little more interesting. This is Coco Bay, and Bay is spelled B-A-E. This is number 2410, and this is kind of a soft caramel shade, and it has a beautiful peachy gold shimmer running all throughout, and it almost looks a little bit iridescent, kind of shifty to me, almost pink to that peachy gold, but I'm not exactly sure. I can't, I can't say for sure. The shimmer does show up in here very well, and that's because the base is a lot thinner than some of the other polishes in here that has shimmer. So I am going to go ahead and build this up, and I think that this shade is really, really pretty. Just a beautiful, shimmering nude.
next polish number 2411 unicorns are real and that's the one that I have on my nails here and it's a beautiful soft purpley pink this is like a mauvey pink it's really really beautiful and it gets great coverage I mean I only did one coat today and it's so easy if you're not incredibly particular about you know if you have any little bit of streakiness then this is this is one that you can get away with in just one coat and that is really great for a polish that's this light I just really love this shade it's a great take on a powdery pink because they added a little bit of mauve in there so again, this one's called Unicorns Are Real, and I really, really like this one. And we did two coats on this. The next polish in the collection is Forbidden Fruit. Forbidden. Anyway, this is a beautiful um, kind of dusty grape, and it has some beautiful coppery, peachy shimmer in there. This polish is very opaque, which means that the shimmer is a little bit less noticeable on the nail. Generally, that's the give and take there, unless, you know, a, a whole bunch of shimmer, like a lot, a lot of shimmer is dumped into a polish. Generally, it's gonna be harder to see the shimmer if your base pigment is very opaque and dark. So, this polish got really great opacity in one to two coats. I'm gonna show you, like I said, two coats of everything today. Um, but this one is very, very beautiful. I wish the shimmer had been a little bit more strong, but it's just kind of like a hint of a shimmer on the nail, and it will, of course, show up a lot better if you add top coat. So, number 2412, Forbidden Fruit. The next polish was the hard to find polish out of this collection, and I really hope that you can find it because, like I said earlier, this is the most interesting polish out of the collection because the shimmer quality in here is that really really strong kind and it shows up so well i mean it's just it's really blinging on the nail and it's gorgeous so this is kind of a snaky green it's a blackened green and then the shimmer in there is a golden green and it's incredibly bright this is number 2413 and it's called electric sage this builds up really really nicely two coats and you're good to go this was definitely one of my favorites if you're looking high and low for this again I found this at Fred Meyer I don't have this or excuse me I didn't find it my friend found it there and I don't have Fred Meyer near me so maybe you can find a connection in the simple colors Facebook group even I'm a part of that group and I always find it really helpful people are nice there and if they find some extras they will let everyone know on Facebook um, so that you guys can maybe have a chance at finding the ones that are a little bit harder to find. I've also noticed that sometimes the really hard to find ones will show up later at like a Walgreens or a Rite Aid, but that's not always the case. So anyway, um, yes, this one is Electric Sage number 2413. The next polish is this beautiful burnt red or brick red and it's called 2414. It's not quite as brown as some brick reds. It's a beautiful cream formulation and I love it. This reminds me of another brick kind of polish that they have, but this one is like a little bit more, um, it's a little bit softer than that polish. In any case, I really like it and that one was released so long ago that if you were looking for this kind of shade as a perfect formulation. So number 2414, this one's called Orange, so it's just an R before the, the word orange. So I don't really think of this as orange though. I think this is red. The next polish is a blue and I um, did when I hauled these originally for you guys I was saying that this is kind of like a Pacific blue, but it's less cool. It's more going toward azure blue and this is number 2415 and it's called Holla at Ya Buoy. Wow, that was really not to say, it was really hard not to say boy, but it's spelled like a buoy in the water. So um, again, here we have really beautiful formulation in two coats. All these creams just play so nicely. They're not messy and they're just so easy to apply and fun colors, right? That's why I love simple colors, you guys. So um, yeah, two coats on this one. Let's see if I can say it, holla at ya, buoy. Next up we have a silver foily metallic and it's really nice and bright silver. I feel like they have polishes like this so this one wasn't super exciting for me but it was really nice and bright so I like that. This is number 2416 and it's called Mixed Signals. This was actually one of the ones where I felt like maybe you could go for a third coat on this. It's a little bit sheer so that silver shimmer can be just really really bright and so for that reason you might want to do a third. It's totally wearable too though, you know, just go for a careful application. 
I thought this was great. It didn't blow my socks off, but it was good. Okay, just two left. We have the purple next. Oh, my pretty. I love this color so much, you guys. It's so, so gorgeous. This is like a little bit purplier version of Where Are the Sugar Cookies. A little bit less mauve, a little more purpley, but they're definitely super, super similar. So this polish is called Shock Candy, number 2417. Again, gorgeous two coat cream formulation. Such a fun, beautiful shade. I just love it. I love it. I love it. And like I said, this whole collection I thought was fantastic. And um, yeah, this one is probably one of my favorites because it's purple. All the purple polishes, people. So number 2417, Shot Candy. Loving this. Super great. Okay, and the last one is a hot pinky red. What would this collection be without a bright pink, you guys? Um, for me, pinks aren't the high point of the collection, but I know a lot of people love a really great pink, and guess what? This has a lot of shimmer in it. So this one's called Sucker Punch, number 2418. And the shimmer in here does show up a lot better than in that purpley one. And it's really beautiful. It's like a, it's just kind of like an iridescent blue to pink kind of looking shimmer in there. Um, not super shifty, just like barely noticeable in the bottle that it looks like there's maybe two colors. So um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I built this up in two coats just like the rest and I thought it was great. If you're a pink lover, you will probably really like this. Number 2418. Okay guys, so that's the whole review. I hope that you um, appreciated the live application. If you're new here, that's what we do on my channel. I give you live application of as many things as I can get my hands on so that you know how they're gonna apply before you go in search of them, especially with a brand like Simple Colors, where it's not just, you know, go online and purchase them, you know, wherever they're always sold. These you actually have to like snatch when you can. So this would, I hope, help you know if you actually need to like hunt every one of these down. So anyway, you guys, thanks for stopping by to spend some of your day with me. I really appreciate it and I'm so happy to see you here. Let me know in the comments section which one was your favorite and if you managed to find Electric Sage. I hope to see you back for the next video. Take care. Bye.